Styles time, baby. Cannibal Shogun here. Welcome to another installment of Red Links TV. First up, we'll hit the ground running on Rorschach 3000's track, Aztec 3-Way. Then, it's back to the classroom for another Build Your Skills lecture, where I'll show you how to make a car crash the driving line. Lastly, we'll ride into the winner's cycle, where we'll tell you who won the style competition from last month and give you a new goal to strive for. Let's count it down. Alright Trials Heads, we know you've got mad love for Trials HD, now's your chance to show it. Voting for the 2009 Arcade Awards is currently underway on Xbox Live, and Trials HD is up for awards in three categories including Best Overall Game. To vote, go to the Spotlight section on your dashboard, scroll over to the 2009 Arcade Awards and select Vote Now to load the ballot. You'll see your favorite game in mind in three categories, Best Innovation on Xbox Live, Best Solo Game, and Best Overall Game. Once you've made your picks and cast your ballot, it'll give you a tally of who's currently on top. At the time I cast my votes, it was a close race, so every vote counts. Make sure to show your love and tell your friends. Vote Trials HD for the 2009 Arcade Awards. With the conclusion of the Winter Olympics last month, we thought we'd do our part to represent Canada. So our featured user this time around is Canada's own Murray Gates, aka Rorschach 3000, and his track, Aztec 3-Way. One thing that separates the map-making elite from the rest of us is attention to detail, and Murray is no stranger to this idea. He's earned fanfare for tracks like Subway and After Hours by using background detail and atmosphere to breathe life into his creations, resulting in a fun experience for riders of all skill levels. In Aztec 3-Way, he used his design ability to blaze a trail of multiple path mayhem, giving the track a high replay value. Inspiration struck when Murray saw the stone tiles in the Big Pack DLC and realized they would be perfect for building a temple. Rorschach 3000 may spend a whole lot of time designing tracks and burning digital rubber, but everyone has to put down the controller at some point. However, creativity never takes a back seat. This rider spends his spare time painting, and that artistic skill translates well into his map making. He's also a huge hockey fan, representing the Calgary Flames all the way. It may have been just over 20 years since he last celebrated a Stanley Cup, but there's no question that Rorschach 3000 has earned a gold medal in trials. Oh, Canada indeed. What's up, mappers? It's time to build your skills. For this episode, I'm going to switch things up a bit. I've gotten so many questions regarding the speeding cars in my most recent map set that I thought it would be good if I shared my secrets with everybody. The effect we'll be creating is most easily visible in my down the stairs skill game Roadkill, where the level starts out with the rider being smashed by a speeding car. To do this, you will need the full car from the DLC objects, a wood box, and two triggers. But to start, I'm only going to spawn one trigger and then copy it to make the second. The lock to driving line feature is a key component to creating this crash. You'll notice that the car cannot be locked to the driving line. This is why we need the wood box, among some other things I'll get to in a moment. Before you glue anything together, take your wood box and check lock to driving line. Now select your trigger and check the physics box, then select the wood box. Now when the trigger is activated, the box will suck towards the driving line. Next, it's time to add the car into the mix. Start by making physics active on your car. Turn your car sideways with LB and use R3 to snap it to the driving line. Do the same with your wood box. Now, I like to glue my box to the car before placing it inside so I can see the connecting lines and know everything is attached correctly. I also like to glue the box to the hood, trunk, and doors as well as the body of the car. Now that everything is connected, it's time to put it in place. Select just your wood box using LB and place it as centered as you can inside the car. The placement of the box can be tricky and may take some trial and error before you get it to work right. Once everything is in place, take your car and box and place them away from the driving line. Use LB to rotate them so that the car is facing the line. Now when the trigger is activated, the car should race towards the driving line at full speed, but we're not quite done yet. 
You'll notice that once the car reaches the driving line, it blows past a little bit, but is then sucked back. This is where the second trigger comes in. Grab your first trigger and copy it. The new trigger should already be connected to the wood box. Open the options for that trigger and select explode slash brake and place it near the driving line in the path of the car. Now, the car will activate that trigger, breaking the box inside and allowing it to continue past the driving line. And there you have it, the Cannibal Shogun car crash. Keep in mind, the farther the car is from the driving line, the faster it comes at it. Now go forth with your newfound knowledge and create some motor mashing mayhem. All right, builders, now it's your turn to show us what you've got. It's competition time and things are about to get creative. We've got a specific directive for you to follow, but there's plenty of room for interpretation. The challenge is to build a mad machine. So get those brainwaves going and let loose on the track. If you want Master of the Machine to be your claim to fame, you're gonna have to earn it. To enter, upload a video to YouTube that showcases your Mad Machine in all its glory. Begin the name with Redlinks TV EP002, followed by your track name and gamer tag. Once your video is online, send a link to WinnerCycle at redlinks.com. Our judges will decide whose machine is superior, and that rider gets bragging rights for a month. Oh yeah, and some super fresh gear. Because if there's one thing everybody loves, it's getting cool stuff for free. It's a good thing Red Links TV has you covered because we're about to make it rain. This time around, the Winter Cycle Champion will receive this stylish Trials HD hoodie. Last month, we challenged you to take a stylish ride on the stock market. You complied and gave us some sick runs to sift through. The competition was tight, but JJ the German used his slick riding skills to jump, flip, and wheelie his way to the top. With a contest this close though, second place is no chump, and this time that honor goes to Scrumblekins. Special thanks go out to our guest community judge, QC Chopper, who used his personal knowledge of on-track skills to help us choose our first ever Winter Cycle Champ. Congratulations JJ and Scrumblekins, sport those hoodies with pride. Join us in the next Winter Cycle, where we will show you who made the maddest machine and give you a new task to work on. Well, now it's time for the worst part of the show, the part where it ends. Special thanks to Murray Gates, QC Chopper, and our friends at Red Links for all their help. Delve deeper into the Trials HD universe at the Trials HD forums at redlinksgame.com and the custom track leaderboards at trialshd.net. Join us next time for another featured user track, tutorial, competition, and a special feature on trialshd.net and its creator, GameScrub. Until then, keep cranking that throttle. Red Links TV out.